homesteaders and welcome to a beautiful fall day here in Indiana. The heat finally broke. We got some beautiful cool weather. The leaves are starting to change in fall. Uh, it's just going to be a fantastic day. I probably should be doing something but I'm just sitting here enjoying watching the goats. Listen to them. Listen to the chickens. There's Bear over there. Hey Bear! It's that time of the week for something we do every week. And it's time for a shout out. But Amy's not here to run over and say shout out. So it's going to be a big shout out to Brad and Krista down at Big Family Homestead. If you guys don't follow them or don't subscribe to them, I highly recommend you go on over there and check them out. Uh, I'll try and put a link up here to them. If not, I'll put one down below. Go over and see them over there. They've got a big old bunch of good, good videos over there. Funny as all get out too, very informative, lots of good information, just some really good people with a really good set of videos. So do make sure you go over and check them out and if you're not subscribed to them, go ahead and do so. Another thing right now, as I'm looking at all these beautiful leaves and trees here, is we got a big problem here on the homestead and it's a big one. In fact, I'll show you what that big problem is. When we got this place going on six years ago, boy, we were all gung-ho. Loved it. It was all open for us to set and do with what we wanted. We couldn't wait to get our gardens in, get fruit trees in, berries, chicken coops everywhere. That was great six years ago. Well, there's been a big problem happened since then. That big problem is the trees that we loved so much that made it seem like a nice little park setting grew even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So now the issue we've got is they're starting to shade all of our garden areas. And to make the problem worse, trying to get them down, we have got coops everywhere, trees everywhere. We can't just cut the tree down and drop them without destroying what we've done for six years. So this is a major big problem. I'm gonna try and get a hold of a friend uh, who's a tree person, see if he's got any good suggestions on how we're going to manage this. But this is going to be a rough task because all these beautiful trees are now shading our gardens a little bit too much and cutting back on our food production. So that brings us something, to something we uh, probably should discuss with people just getting ready to homestead. Look down the road. Uh, when you're setting up your place, what's it going to look like in 5 years, 10 years, 15 years? If you plan on never moving again, 30, 40 years from now, uh, it's a very important thing that we're learning the hard way that we really should have looked at this problem because it's turning into a major problem. Um, another issue people need to look at is what happens if you get sick or you get you stay there forever and you're getting older? Me, Amy's not as old, but she's getting there. Uh, how hard is it going to be for you to get around? Do you have your stuff too spread out everywhere? Is it going to be hard to deal with in the winter when you're older? Or if you become ill uh, or have a physical issue? And like with ourselves, you know, you've got all your gardens and stuff in the ground and you've got some years on these trees and berry bushes and stuff. And we should have taken these trees down. So if you're uh, planning your homestead, don't think about right now. Think about a year from now. Think about two years, five years, ten years. What kind of issues is it going to be where you've planted stuff? What are they going to grow into? Uh, how is the weather going to change and affect what you've got going? Uh, how the tree is going to shade things? Are they going to present a problem? So that's a very, very important thing you need to look at when planning your homestead. What's going to happen down the road? Um, I, I, we're fortunate where we've placed our buildings and coops and stuff. Everything is pretty closed into a certain area here, so I don't think that's going to be a big issue as far as us getting older and having to deal with it. Our big problem is going to be these trees. And hindsight, we should have taken down most every one of these in here. I mean, it was beautiful. It still is. It gives it that park-like setting here. But this is just going to be such a major problem here. So I'm telling you, you know, you're planning out that homestead and you're wanting to put this way over there and that way over there and run. You know, I'm having to run power now a lot further out than I wanted to on some of these buildings. 
because I didn't plan on it. Same with water to the outside kitchen and everything. Um, I, we didn't plan. We were just too eager, jumped in too much on a lot of this stuff. So please, if uh, you're just starting out on this, make sure you plan, plan, plan. Look way down the road. Really consider what all is going to be happening in 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years from now. Short little video today. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go out in the woods here in just a minute and go look for some ginseng. And then I got some fall work to do here. Uh, still got gardens to work on, get them food out and new food in. Uh, I'm going to remind you, big, no Amy, big shout out to Brad and Krista. Go over to Big Family Homestead. Hopefully it's there. If not, it's down there. Check them out. Subscribe to them. Got a great channel over there. Uh, go to our, if you're not subscribed to us, please subscribe. Go to our website, uh, links to website and email and all that stuff's down below. And I hope you're having a beautiful fall weather as we are. So you all have a good day and a blessed one.